Ah, Hino, this company has quite a history. The world's toughest competition for motor vehicles, the Dakar Rally. A grueling challenge in a furnace of dazzling light and fierce heat. After years of invaluable experience all over the world, Hino entered the Dakar Rally for the first time in 1991, supported by the expectations of the global Hino family. In 1997, Hino claimed overall victory, and what a victory it was. A clean sweep of the top three places in the T4 Camion category. Hino stunned the world in a moment of triumph for Hino global partners everywhere. The win was especially satisfying because the 8-litre Hino Rangers had taken on and beaten even 20-litre Giants. Hino's success in Dakar was built on the experience of the global Hino family and its tremendous spirit of challenge, its unshakable commitment to overcome difficulties. Hino is indeed a company with history, a history of global collaboration and progress, a history of 60 years of challenge. Hino Heavy Industry was established in 1942. In 1945, the end of World War II was also the beginning of a new age. As a member of the motor industry, Hino set its sights on responding to popular demand and boosting the quality of life. Hino saw that large-scale transportation was a key to recovery. Materials were extremely scarce, but Hino announced first a 15-ton heavy-duty trailer truck, then a large trailer bus with a 150-passenger capacity. Hino made a significant contribution to post-war recovery. Hino set up a full-scale production system and the model TH10 bonnet truck was one of its most successful products. In the 1950s, the motor industry grew briskly, giving its leading players a solid business foundation. Hino's activities also developed quickly in these years. Anticipating the age of motorization, in 1952, Hino formed a technical tie-up with Renault of France. Hino entered the passenger car segment, focusing mainly on the Renault 4 CV. 1961 saw the announcement of the small model Contessa 900, which was followed three years later by the Contessa 1300. Then came a bold advance into the light-duty truck segment with the Hino Brisker, a four-wheel drive that inspired the designers of today's Hilux pickups. In 1964, the success of the Tokyo Olympics showed the world that Japan was back on its feet again. In the same year, Hino launched a landmark product for the Japanese market, the KM300. This was the origin of the Ranger series. Hino appeared to have made a smooth transition to the status of general motor vehicle manufacturer, but a major turning point was approaching. After the Tokyo Olympics, Japan was hit by a serious recession. The motor industry was among the areas hit hard, and Hino was no exception, sustaining major damage. With an eye on the future, Hino decided to withdraw from the passenger car segment. Then in 1966, a business tie-up with Toyota Motor Corporation created an opening for Hino to specialize in manufacturing trucks and buses. It was a very tough choice in difficult circumstances, but it laid the foundation for subsequent success and underlined Hino's indomitable spirit. Now that Hino was a dedicated truck and bus manufacturer, the company aimed for the top, with a series of new products reflecting excellent research and development capabilities. Hino opened new horizons in the market with groundbreaking products, semi-tractor trucks and rapid buses offering high-capacity, high-speed transportation. In 1973, Hino finally became Japan's leader in units sold of medium and heavy-duty commercial vehicles. 29 years have passed since then, and Hino's leadership has not faltered. It was early in this period that Hino made its first major international moves. 
The first truck that Hino exported went to the Taiwan Highway Bureau in 1953. The process of building global confidence in the Hino brand had just begun. In the following year, a distributorship agreement was signed with what is now Hotai Motor Company in Taiwan, and Hino entered the age of collaboration with partners all over the world. In 1964, Tai Hino Industry was established as a joint venture with Mitsui and Company Limited to assemble Hino vehicles in response to demand in Thailand. This was Hino's first joint venture project outside Japan. In 1967, Hino entered the management of Victory Automobiles, the Hino distributor in Thailand. The firm was renamed Tai Hino Motor Sales. Later, these two Thai firms merged to become Hino Motors Thailand a core presence in Hino's global operations. Also in 1967, a distributorship agreement was signed with J. Harris Assemblers, and Hino vehicles became the first Japanese-made trucks on the roads of Ireland. In the same year, a distributorship agreement was signed for Guatemala, with a company then called Hinogua, which later evolved into Kodaka. Hino began to make its presence felt globally. In the 1970s, Hino expanded its global operations base. In 1973, Hino exported its 20,000th vehicle from Japan. In 1975, the joint venture Pilipinas Hino was established, and Hino vehicles began to appear on the streets in Manila, the capital of the Philippines. In 1977, a joint venture was established in Malaysia, and this later became Hino Motors Malaysia. Sales activities also began in Hong Kong, Australia, South Africa, and Ecuador. The Hino network was becoming global in scale. As Hino's vigorous pursuit of international sales began to bear fruit, so global confidence grew in the Hino brand. The new efforts of partners in Europe, Africa, the Middle East, Latin America and other regions added to dramatic increases in sales volume. One episode of special note in these years was the frequent record-breaking success of the Hino ZY and KY in the face of stiff competition from Mercedes in Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Oman, Qatar, Kuwait and Bahrain. By the end of the 1970s, Hino vehicles were being marketed in 110 countries. And in 1981, 28 years after that first truck was shipped to Taiwan, Hino exported vehicle number 200,000, a sparkling achievement, and evidence that Hino was now firmly established throughout the world. With Hinos on the road everywhere, it was essential to ensure a reliable supply of spare parts for use in after-sales service. For this purpose, parts depots were established in both Belgium and in Panama. Since 1960, Hino has also cultivated global expertise by inviting service engineers from all over the world to come to Japan for training. In 1972, a technical training center was established within the Hino plant to cater to technicians from many countries. In 1992, training administration was taken over by Shannon 21. Over the years, more than 2,700 technical trainees have been received in Japan, and now they make a very valuable contribution in their own countries. The Hino brand was created by distributors, manufacturers, parts depots and service engineers. In the 1980s, Hino engines gained the world's confidence. In 1983, Hino launched the F-Series, equipped mainly with EH700 and EK100 engines. The innovative airflow cap and a high-performance, high-fuel economy engine won over global customers. and good news started pouring in from around the world. In Taiwan, 
Hino at long last received authorization to form the joint venture manufacturing firm Kuozui Motors. At around the same time, the joint venture Hinopak Motors Limited was established with Toyota Tsusho Corporation in Pakistan, fulfilling government and industry expectations. In Indonesia, the joint venture Hino Indonesia Manufacturing was established with Sumitomo Corporation and the first locally made engines were produced. And in North America, Hino Diesel Trucks USA and Hino Diesel Trucks Canada were established in quick succession. This marked Hino's entry into the North American market, a major arena for heavy-duty trucks. At around this time, Hino buses started to become an important means of public transport in various parts of the world. Hino's other vehicles were making a powerful impact in many countries, with outstanding features that responded to the requirements of customers. In 1989, the Ranger series in Japan underwent a full model change, re-emerging as the Cruising Ranger lineup. In the 1990s, the Super F series opened fresh horizons for Hino. 1992 was the 50th anniversary of the company's founding. At the same time, a corporate identity initiative was undertaken to transform Hino's image and a new corporate logo was adopted. In the early 1990s, international operations maintained the smooth growth seen in the 1980s and new partnerships were forged. In 1991, a technical cooperation agreement was signed with ASCAM in Turkey and the local production of Hino FPs began. Then a wholly owned sales subsidiary, Hino Motors Sales Australia, began to expand an independent sales network in Australia. And in Vietnam, Hino Motors Vietnam was established for manufacturing and sales activities. But in the second half of the 1990s, the deceleration of the Japanese economy dragged the Asian economy into a slump in 1997. International growth inevitably felt the impact. In 1999, Hino Motors and Hino Motor Sales merged after 40 years of independent operation to form a new look Hino Motors Limited. Sales and production were now part of a single vision and a fresh drive began to make Hino the number one commercial vehicle manufacturer. The Dutro was completed. The light-duty Dutro was jointly developed with Toyota Motor Corporation and represented a great opportunity in a new area of business. Now Hino had a full lineup: heavy-duty, medium-duty and light-duty. By 2001, the Dutro was already being marketed in Hong Kong and Australia too. The same year saw the introduction of another product for a new era, the Medium Duty Ranger Pro in Japan. Preparations are presently advancing with the aim of marketing this medium duty truck internationally from 2003. But this year, 2002, is an exciting year in its own right. Hino exported its 750,000th unit this year, compelling evidence of our global collaboration, partnership and trust. Now a fresh challenge is beginning. In 2000, Hino's newest joint venture was established. Shenyang Shenfei Hino Automobile Manufacturing represents a firm base from which to enter the massive Chinese market in earnest. Hino also signed a strategic cooperation agreement with Scania of Sweden. And by receiving a fresh allocation of shares, Toyota Motor Corporation brought Hino into the Toyota Group to handle commercial vehicle activities. Hino is moving steadily towards a brighter future. Hino is a company with history. A history written by every member of the Hino family. The going has been rough at times, but through global cooperation, we have met each challenge with flair, 
and overcome it with grit and determination. This is the history of Eno, the history of a great brand. Our spirit of challenge has been burning for 60 years. Now, the survival fitness of commercial vehicle manufacturers is being put to the test. We shall pass that test. And we shall write a new page in Hino history.